Welcome to Our Ventures. We're Joe and Sharon. In this series, we'll be exploring the Midwest in our new Ford F-250 that we affectionately call Big Red. Join us as we try new foods, craft beverages, get our kicks on Route 66, and stay in the most unique Airbnbs. We will be posting a new episode each Thursday. Hope you could join us on our adventures. So guys, we are in St. Louis and we're headed to the Anheuser-Busch Brewery Tour with the Clydesdale horses. Yeah, we're really excited. We get to meet at Clydesdale and take our picture with one and we're so excited. So we'll bring you with us. Should be awesome. See you there. We just finished up the Anheuser-Busch Clydesdale tour it here was, in Missouri and yeah we loved it. It was great. It was so awesome. The horses are regal, beautiful animals. Giant. They are giant. Yes they are. They and we said got they weigh uh, 2,000 pounds each. Yeah. Yeah. And we got and we met the one from the East Coast team so yeah, that was really cool enough. You know, we're from the East Coast, so we had to meet the East Coast one. Yeah. And he liked us too. He was like turning to us. He yep. was so cute. Yep. Anyway, we had a great time on our tour. We learned so much. I didn't know really anything about Clydesdales, and I kind of surprised. Like, so uh, Bush's son gave him a Clydesdale as a present because of the victory of Prohibition. And then they started using it for marketing. And the first time that they ever used the horses was actually in Newark, New Jersey. Newark, so New Jersey. Cool. And they went with the horses across the tunnel to New York to give the governor uh, some beer for yeah. the prohibition ending because he had a big part in that. Right. So that was a really interesting fact that we learned. We didn't know. Yeah. And the also is so cool that. New Jersey was one of the first, that was the first place for the Clydesdales to be performing, yeah, I guess you would say. Symbolizes the end of Prohibition. Yeah, so that was really, really neat. We really had a good time. And yeah. you get two free beers on your trip. We both got the Elysian Space Dust. Yeah. Because we love IPAs. Yeah. Beer. All their beers really good, but I feel like IPAs, Space Dust is a good one. Yeah. Cheers. And here's so, to you guys. Now we're going to go check into our Airbnb and then it's baseball time. We're going to a St. Louis baseball game and I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Yep. And we'll tell you why when, when we're at the game because we're actually Atlanta Braves fans. So we'll tell you why we're so excited about St. Louis. Today we're St. Louis fans. Yep. Go St. Louis. Go St. Louis. <laughs> See you there. See you there. So, this is our Airbnb. We met the owner, she's so nice. Uh, she gave us some tips on how to get to the game without driving and we're really looking forward to it. So this is our bed. And she has these cool little, oh God, they're so, such amazing like little signs. Try something new today. Travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer. We so agree with that one. And then life is an adventure. What you are waiting for, be confident, be spontaneous, thrive, see things differently, explore, dream, discover, make a difference. We so agree with all these. It's amazing. And then it's just a regular bathroom. It's cute, clean, nice. She's got beautiful painting. Love is all you need. 
Love it. Oh, Babe Ruth. Love baseball. And then this is our living room. It's really, really nice. Very nice. And cozy. It's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very cozy. And we have a TV. And we have a nice kitchen. We finally have a kitchen with a stove, guys. And a toaster. We've been waiting for our toaster because we brought cinnamon bread and we haven't been able to eat it. <laughs> it's just cute. Little fridge. Really nice signs up there. I'm telling you, our Airbnb hosts have really, they have done really good with all the little touches. We loved it. We have loved every Airbnb we've stayed in. Loved it. Yep. That's why we choose Airbnb. Airbnb, if you're listening, we will take sponsors. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna just chill just for a little while, take a break, and then we're going to the game. Sorry, I'm really excited. guys because we are so terrible at doing our intros and all the stuff that we're supposed to be doing we always forget stuff yeah well also it was a little chaotic um we took a, a like a bus or like a a bus from one of the bars in in the area we're staying in um and we went right there and we were trying to go in and we had trouble with the tickets because I transferred one ticket to him. And so anyway, we had to deal with a lot of stuff and it got, it was really noisy there. So we couldn't really talk that much there. Yeah, It was hard to film inside there. It was really loud. Yeah. So loud. Like so many people, we went an hour early and it was packed already. So yeah. just, we didn't really have time to talk about it. But anyway, we wanted to tell you why we went to go see the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm actually, we are actually an Atlanta Braves fan. Mm -hmm. I've been obsessed with the Atlanta Braves since I was little and still love them. I travel to Atlanta almost every year to go see them because that's how obsessed I am. Yeah. But I've always dreamed about coming to the St. Louis Cardinals game in honor of my grandfather. My grandfather was signed in the 30s by Branch Rickey and he was an amazing baseball player. Yeah, he was uh, signed by Branch Rickey in 1938. Um, and it was well known that he was one of the fastest runners in the game at that point. He beat George Case, who was from Trenton. Yep. George Case was a, supposedly one of the fastest runners, if not the fastest. But In baseball history. Our grandfather beat him in a few races. So Yeah. Yeah, he was an amazing player. Yeah. Um, he played for the St. Louis Cardinals minor league team, and he led the league in RBIs, doubles, and base hits. Yeah, he was he was Back really good. Tigers, yeah. So he took over for Terry Moore, and then he got hurt pretty fast. So Enos Slaughter took his spot and became a major baseball player, mm -hmm. and was our and he was also in the baseball hall of fame yep. so that was pretty crazy that that could have been my grandfather yeah, there's pictures of enos slaughter in the stadium all yeah. over the place and to think that he basically took over for our grandpa yeah pretty amazing 
Yeah, so anyway, that's why we wanted to go there. We just wanted to pay tribute to him. Yep. And we actually had a lot of fun. I actually think that my next goal is to go to all the baseball stadiums because I love it. I that don't sounds care. Amazing. Yeah, I don't care what team we're watching. Of course, I'll always be an Atlanta Braves fan, but it's fun just to watch baseball. Yeah. So anyway, we just wanted to give you that little bit of history. We had a great time meeting a Clydesdale and attending the St. Louis baseball game in honor of our grandfather. Join us next week for part two as we try iconic St. Louis foods and visit the famous St. Louis Arch. Make sure to leave a comment below, like and subscribe to our channel. We love having you along for the ride. Thanks for watching.